Despite their size, the diet of a boa constrictor is rather simple, and because of their slow-paced metabolism, a boa can go months without eating. When residing in the wild, boa constrictors are known for their ambush-style hunting tactics. Rodents, rabbits, and ocelots are a few notables that comprise a boa's diet. In this video, we'll take a closer look at how the boa constrictor catches its prey, and we'll also break the boa's diet down into a few sections of note. Enjoy the video. We hope you find it both enjoyable and informative. Opportunistic, that's one way to describe a boa constrictor's hunting tactics, hiding out of sight until opportunity arises. When it comes to how the boa attacks and subdues its prey, it all begins with a bite. Boa constrictors have sharp, hooked teeth. This allows the boa to not only strike its victim, but the hooked nature of the teeth make it increasingly difficult for prey to escape. Once the boa has locked in, literally and figuratively, the snake will constrict around its victim, restricting blood flow to the heart, thus ending its life. Growing to be an average of 8 to 10 feet in length and up to 80 pounds, boas often win the day against any prey option. While boas typically save their hunting and feasting skills for times of necessary meal consumption, feasting on the wild cat known as the ocelot, for example, can be enough to tide the boa over for months. Boa constrictors are nocturnal hunters, which makes them all the more dangerous to unsuspecting prey. Now that we know how the boa constrictor hunts and how it kills its prey, let's take a closer look at the boa's diet and what it entails. Young boa constrictors often dine on rodents. Once a boa hatches, it becomes immediately responsible for finding its own food. Until a boa reaches roughly six to seven feet in length, it will prey on rats and mice. During the first weeks of life, a boa will consume one mouse per week on average. Just like most all living creatures, the appetite of a boa will change with age and hunting ability. As time progresses, rodents will be a last resort rather than a necessity meal. As boa constrictors get a bit older, although not yet an adult, they will often target birds, hatchlings and chicks specifically. Because young birds are quite brittle, it is especially easy for a young boa to make short work of them. Although not exactly pleasant to discuss, this is the animal kingdom survival of the fittest. Once a boa constrictor enters adulthood, it will target and consume fewer and fewer birds, not only because boas will begin to branch out in search of larger prey. As they themselves become larger, it becomes more difficult to hunt small birds. Physics at work. Large boas have a difficult time climbing as they age. While amphibians aren't the prime choice of boa constrictors, they will feed on frogs, toads, and smaller fish if other options are limited. Although boas prefer dry land, they can sustain themselves in the water. Similar to the other sections we've addressed, generally speaking, amphibians are ripe for young boas, as overtaking a frog is much easier than attempting to wrangle a small or large mammal into submission. Once a boa constrictor transitions into adulthood, it can modify its diet and go after larger prey, starting with small mammals. Hares, rabbits, bats, and squirrels are some notable options, with hares and rabbits leading the way. Native to South America, boa constrictors are able to essentially pick and choose from a wide variety of hare and rabbit species. Because adult boas are capable of swallowing large prey, the mammals that reside in the same environment as the boa constrictor are never truly safe. Larger prey targets can include small monkeys, cats such as the bobcat and ocelot, and other notable options such as deer and even the jaguar, although the latter is quite a risky endeavor. Taking the deer, for example, a boa will potentially consume a meal of this size right before winter, a large meal long enough to keep the boa satisfied for several months. Although boa constrictors are ambush hunters and love to pick and choose their moments to strike, as noted earlier, this is the animal kingdom and survival of the fittest. When the chips are down, the boa will do what it needs to do in order to eat. This includes consumption of livestock. If a pig, for example, is able to leave a farm or a boa is able to make its way inside the property, then it's game over or game on, depending on how you look at it. Now, feral pigs, they're a different story entirely. While they're more accessible, they're also not going down without a fight. A wild boar will give a boa all it wants and more. Unless the boa constrictor is exceptionally large, it will likely avoid this form of confrontation. Generally speaking, unless pressed into an unwanted, desperate action, boa constrictors play it smart with their diet. They consume what they can based on their age and need 
and avoid conflict if possible. This is why the diet of a boa constrictor, as a rule, is fairly simplistic. Of course, it doesn't hurt that one sizable meal can take care of hunger for months at a time. And on that note, that will conclude things for the video portion of this material. If you'd like to know more about the diet of a boa constrictor, please head on over to snakesforpets.com. There you'll find a detailed article concerning this specific subject matter. If you're currently watching us off-site, we invite you to click the initial link in the description box below. Said link will take you to this valuable information. Want to know more about boas, other snakes? Do you have important questions? Whatever you need, please enter your keywords in our search bar. If you can think it, there's a good chance we've got an article ready and waiting for you. And until our paths cross again, we'd like to thank you once again for viewing our content. Thank you for taking a few minutes out of your day to spend them with us. Please have a wonderful remainder of your day. All the best to you and yours, and we'll talk to you later.